Let's take a quick look at the benchmark tool that lives inside of the SOLIDWORKS RX. You can easily get to it through the Windows Start menu. I chose not to benchmark PhotoView 360 because SOLIDWORKS Visualize is a much better option for photo rendering because it takes advantage of modern technology like GPU rendering. The benchmark tool will run through a series of tests to make sure that you get a good overall idea of the performance aspects of your machine, like graphics, processor, input and output. These five iterations will give you a good general idea of how your machine is performing. The laptop I'm benchmarking is an all-around workstation. I often run simple simulation studies and even flow simulation on it. Even though this machine is powerful, I want to avoid using the machine as much as possible while it's running the benchmark to get accurate results. Once the test is finished, SOLIDWORKS will close and you'll see the benchmark report. I always like to take a quick snapshot of my results so that I can show my coworkers and for my record. You also have the option to share your score, which will make it easy for you to find it later. Keep in mind an all-around engineering workstation may not be the best option for what you're intending to use SOLIDWORKS for. It may be a better idea to use a custom-built workstation for things like simulation and photo rendering. Whenever you're specking out a new workstation, make sure to look up the SOLIDWORKS system requirements for a minimum recommendation. Hope you enjoyed the SOLIDWORKS performance tip. Stay tuned for more coming soon.